Hello, everyone. Glad you are here. And uh, we are waiting for the live feed to come up, which it just did. Very excited about that. All right. It is time for morning or sorry, evening prayer. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Let us know how you are doing. And we look forward to uh, having you with us throughout the uh, journey of life that is uh, our walk through the daily office, Monday through Thursday, 5 p.m. for evening prayer, as you are finding out right now, and 9 a.m. for morning prayer. Uh, like, subscribe, give us a follow. If you're watching live on Facebook, please do include your intercessions and thanksgivings in the comment section of the live chat. If you are picking us up later, uh, please do put your intentions in. We'll make sure those get lifted up at morning prayer tomorrow at 9 a.m. It's an honor to have you with us and really a grace. We're so blessed to have you in our midst. Welcome home to a holy land at St. Peter's. All right, here we go. It's time for evening prayer. Seek him that made the Pleiades and Orion, that turneth deep darkness into the morning and darkeneth the day into night, that calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 94 and 95. I'll offer the odd verses. Please respond with the even. O Lord, you God of vengeance, you God of vengeance, shine forth. Rise up, O judge of the earth, give to the proud what they deserve. O Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked exalt? They pour out their arrogant words, all the evildoers boast. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. They kill the widow and the stranger, they murder the orphan. And they say, the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob does not perceive. Understand, O dullest of the people, fools, when will you be wise? He who planted the ear, does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? He who disciplines the nations, he who teaches knowledge to humankind, does he not chastise? The Lord knows your thoughts, that they are but an empty breath. Happy are those whom you discipline, O Lord, and whom you teach out of your law. Giving them respite from days of trouble until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not forsake his people. He will not abandon his heritage. For justice will return to the righteous, and all the upright in the heart will follow it. Who rises up for me against the wicked? Who stands up for me against evildoers? If the Lord had not been my help, 
my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence. When I thought my foot is slipping, your steadfast love, O Lord, held me up. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Can wicked rulers be allied with you, those who contrive mischief by statute? They band together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the, but Lord. the Lord has become my stronghold and my God the rock of my refuge. The Lord will repay them for their iniquity and wipe them out for their wickedness. The Lord our God will wipe them out. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is the Lord's for God made it and the dry land which the Lord's hands have formed. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of the Lord's hand. Oh, that today you would listen to God's voice. Do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as on the day at Massa in the wilderness. When your ancestors tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my work. For 40 years, I loathed that generation and said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not regard my ways. Therefore, in my anger, I swore they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. Now in the following instructions, I do not commend you, because when you come together, it is not for the better, but for the worse. For to begin with, when you come together as a church, I hear that there are divisions among you, and to some extent I believe it. Indeed, there have to be factions among you, for only so will it become clear who among you are genuine. When you come together, it is not really to eat the Lord's Supper. For when the time comes to eat, each of you goes ahead with your own supper, and one goes hungry, and another becomes drunk. What? Do you not have homes to eat and drink in? Or do you show contempt for the church of God and humiliate those who have nothing? What should I say to you? Should I commend you? In this matter, I do not commend you. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, this, is, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be answerable for the body and the blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves and only then eat, the, eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For all who eat and drink without discerning the body, eat and drink judgment against themselves. For this reason, many of you are weak and ill, and some have died. But if we judged ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we may not be condemned along with the world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. If you're hungry, eat at home, so that when you come together, it will not be for your condemnation. About the other things, I will give instructions when I come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Song of Judith, together. I will sing a new song to my God, for you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. 
Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came into being. You sent your breath and it formed them. No one is able to resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you. But whoever fears the Lord will stand in your sight forever. A reading from John. When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, got into a boat, and started across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But he said to them, it is I, do not be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land toward which they were going. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had only that there had been only one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Then some of the boats from Tiberius came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowds saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle is Song of Christ's Humanity. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat thee, O Lord. That thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat thee, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat thee, O Lord. That there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world. We entreat thee, O Lord. That we may depart this life in thy faith and fear 
and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Peter, our patron, and all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for thy love's sake. Amen. I welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. Prayers for a jinx that his glucose levels come down quickly and that he feel better soon. Amen to that. Thanksgiving for all those who work to make life better and safer for all, including building inspectors. They got a tough job. We pray for them. Please join me in the general Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Please join me for the prayer. I'm going to ask you guys to join me for the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Let's do it together today. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, be God. to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you everyone for joining us for evening prayer. We appreciate your presence. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications if you're watching on YouTube. If you are watching on Facebook, a little thumbs up and a like as well as a follow will help along. We are glad to welcome you home to a Holy Lent at St. Peter's. We're moving towards the conclusion of that season, getting ready for Holy Week. But know that we're, it's been an honor to welcome you home. Please know that we will be together again for our busy day tomorrow at uh, St. Peter's, which is morning prayer, then Bible study, then noonday Eucharist, then meetings, gatherings, salutations and luncheons, the preparation for the community supper, then five o'clock evening prayer. And of course, the Lenten series will continue at 7 p.m. on Zoom. In all things, may God bless you and keep you. Take care and God bless. Bye. Bye-bye.